trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv well hello there it's palm mash tv time once again we're glad that you could join us today Got another great interview coming up for you in just a moment. But before you do that, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And when you do that, you'll get the latest interviews and uh, delivered to you. And we hope you do that. And also, leave a comment on the comment section over there. We, uh, we'd also like to hear from you there. And we've got email as well, of course. PaulMashTV, all one word, at gmail.com. And you can use that email if you're a band or solo artist or a fan. If you're a fan of the show, leave us an email on that same email address. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, also uh, go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash PaulMashTV. And uh, you can uh, like the page, inbox us, comment, and everything you see there. And also if you uh, stay tuned at 6 o'clock p.m. Central every Wednesday, you'll get the chance to see one of my episodes on Smile World TV on Roku. So uh, hope you do that for us. And all that will be recapped in the closing credits at the end of the show, so I'll stay tuned for that. From Gallatin, Tennessee, we have Dustin Spears, another talented country artist, and I think you'll agree. And we'll get to that in just a moment, but first, here's a quick word from Quick Jam. We got history, got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me, thinking about what could Okay, it's interview time, and with us from Gallatin, Tennessee, we have Dustin Spears. Thanks for joining us, Dustin. Hey, man, thanks for having me on here. Yeah, no problem. We're glad to have you today. Uh, why don't we start off by asking the question I was asked, because everyone has their own story, but tell us a little bit about how it began for you as being an artist. I'm being an artist. Well, I wasn't always an artist. Uh, I was always a musician, grew up in a very musical household, mm -hmm. and uh, there really wasn't no way around it. You know, at age eight, I was playing drums with a family band here and there, picking up piano, and playing church, and just always around it. In my high school days, I was, a, I was a band dork. You know, I played drums and marched, and uh, right out of high school, you know, I found a passion for the guitar and writing and just that's what I did. I wrote and never really did much, just enjoyed writing, playing, um, a little recording here and there. And my mid twenties, that's when it kind of took off. I said, I'm going to start, uh, try to start a band, get out and play some. And which is the hardest thing to do. <laughs> you wouldn't think it's a, uh, uh, very hard in Nashville growing up, but, Oh my goodness, keeping the four guys on the same page was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And uh, I kind of had a little success with that for a while with a band. And then I actually signed a publishing deal when I was 28, I think, and did some writing for a publishing company. And I never had any huge success, but got to meet a lot of great people. And um, like I said, I started a. Uh, um, just writing hard, producing my own stuff, and recently that's when everything else has taken over to where I'm at today. So signing with uh, Country Roads Records, and uh, this is the first time I've signed an independent record label. So pretty neat. I'm uh, really enjoying how nice they are, and how respectful and welcoming they were to me. Being uh, I'm pretty much a nobody. <laughs> To the everybody else, you know, I'm just an independent artist. So, but I'm, you know, I've did a lot of writing. And it's been a long time. <laughs> so, eight years of trying to make it has finally got me here today. So, well, that's good, yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know, real, uh, real country records uh, is run by Nancy Howard, a great lady, and she's mm -hmm. the uh, several artists for the label, uh, and especially you. So, uh, I want to thank her for yeah. that. Well. Uh, well, what, what would you say your biggest influences were growing up? I mean, uh, uh, you know, did it help with your songwriting or uh, singing abilities or anything? 
Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a big George Strait fan. Um, mm-hmm. You know, growing up, man, my dad had cassettes laid around, and it was from – I never appreciated those cassettes. I remember this big box, and I remember the names uh, when I was like six and seven years old, uh, seeing these cassettes, Alan Jackson, you know, George Strait, uh, Daryl Singletary, all these artists. That, but, man, I never really uh, – Back as a child, you really didn't know and appreciate those. And like I said, in my twenties, I really started listening to, you know, traditional country, the early nineties country. And I had to say, George Strait and one of the top influences. A lot of my ballads I wrote. Um, but you know, I don't just have one. I mean, there's some modern guys out here that I, I got him. Mo Pitney is also a guy that I really. Uh, was influenced by the writing and voice. Um, my music obviously is not as traditional. It's more of the pop side. So, you know, I have um, did listen to some R&B, hip hop growing up. So I kind of took my voice and took some of the rhythms and the structure that, you know, the hip hop side did and then brought it to my voice to do this EP that I've been working on. So that you hear on the radio so yeah that, that's a good story and you did mention a few uh, legends in uh, country music that really influenced you and i can see why yeah um so why, why don't you tell us about where we can find your music i mean and, and is there any way to contact you because uh, i'm sure artists would, i mean our uh, excuse me our fans would like to know that oh yeah you can find it uh apple music spotify um youtube it's some of it's on facebook what else? Amazon, I think, has pretty much any of the digital platforms. Uh, you can find any of my stuff. All the videos on YouTube. Some of them are on Facebook. The videos as well, but uh, definitely Dustin Spears Music. You can go to that on YouTube. See any video I've did, any cover song. And, and just Dustin Spears is a uh, name for like Apple Music, Spotify, and Amazon, and stuff like that. So... Yeah. Well, on all those streaming platforms to get uh, Dustin's music, I know he would appreciate yeah. that. And uh, speaking of uh, music, uh, in just a moment or so, we're going to be playing uh, one of your music videos. Uh, what is it? Do It Like That, I think is the name of it. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. Okay. Well, is there a story behind that song? I mean, maybe it's self-explanatory, but maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I write um, a little bit. When I'm writing, man, I, I'm weird. I'll write with no music and I'll write uh, a hook first a lot of times and just in my head I'll hear something and I'll, you know, a little bit of it's truth and a lot of it's to sound good, you know, and I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat it. A lot of it's made up. A lot of it's stories I hear uh, from other people that I influence, you know, me and stuff like that. Yes. I mean, I've, uh, the video shows a lady singing. It really wasn't a video or storyline and, you know, it was just kind of my idea of a cool way to present the song without being the typical storyline. You know, me singing, her singing, her acting like it, you know. So, but no, it's not really. Um, most songs that I write that I have written for my girlfriend, I've written a few for her. And uh, Share My World With You is to not, I don't think they've played it on the radio yet. That's one I wrote specifically for her from start to finish about her. But it just depends, really. Um, sometimes I just, like I say, take a little bit of the truth and spice it up with some icing, you know what I'm saying? Make it sound good, stretch truth and embellish, you know, so. Yeah, and, um, I, I obviously have seen the music video and I know everybody will feel the same way I do about yeah. it. I, I do when I say it's a really good song, really good video. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll get to that in just a minute, but uh, I think that's all we need for right now, Dustin. We appreciate you coming on the show. We'd love to have you back sometime. Yeah. I'd love to be back, yes. Please. Okay. All right, well, let's watch that video. Uh, Do It Like That by uh, Dustin Spears, and uh, we'll be right back. So we'll work. Looking at me like my 
bodies around the crowded bar gets faded out Yeah, I be dancing to some old school jewel street She me look like a damn I can't wait You grab my hand and say, let's go Take me to your place and turn them lights down low I love it when your body's against mine And you kiss me, kiss me, baby I love being tangled up that night And the sheets, you drive a bit crazy I love it when you do it like that When you do it like that You wear a mic cap, flip back Loving on me in the middle of the night No matter where we're at Kiss me like nobody's watching You bit my lip, now I am locked in You said, come on, let's go by the night, young You shut off like a bullet out of gun I love it when your body's against mine And you kiss me, kiss me, baby Drive a bit crazy. I love it when you do it like that. When you do it like that. You wear a mic, can't live back. Loving on me in the middle of the night. No.